For me, digital activism is using the new information technology to defend the cause like freedom of expression or human rights or the environment. We are aggregating information, we're aggregating ideas, we're putting things together, mashing them up with images, um, maybe building alliances with other groups and so forth, and then making an argument that we hope will change public debate in some way move it in the direction of our interest. We organized for donations and we got donations from as far as Trinidad. The difference in digital campaigns is that much of this work takes place in some online medium, typically. Uh, I think that digital activism is empowering individual to make some changes. I don't claim that the digital activism will change the world, but it is changing some aspect in our lives. I mean, the Internet always plays a, a critical uh, amplifying role in any uh, intellectual production, any idea, any report that has to get to a lot of people. It's also played a role in um, helping coordinate the different efforts that have been going on within the country and with Kenyans outside the country. Social networking for activism does have its plus points. It has a massive uh, base. People are already members of Facebook, MySpace, Hi5, whichever network it is, and they're already tapped in. Uh, you can make some change if you use efficiently the tools that are freely available on the internet, like video sharing sites, YouTube, Dailymotion, or photo sharing sites like Flickr, or blogging platform like WordPress.com or Blogspot.com, or using social networking websites like Facebook and other MySpace, or using, um, what else, Twitter for sending very short uh, messages through the internet and SMS. The, the technology used was wide range from computers to uh, SMS and to the traditional media as well. With many NGOs desperate to communicate with the outside world, desperate to communicate with stakeholders and donors and members of the public and uh, all sorts of constituents, the mobile phone has become a pretty important tool for them. Uh, so SMS is probably the, the default application on the mobile phone. <laughs> My advice to young activists or young people who are thinking about getting into activism, even old people who are thinking about getting into activism, is um, to just go out there and, and do it. If you have a passion for something, if you have a story to tell, just go out and do it. You don't need the most expensive camera, you don't need the most expensive laptop, you don't even need a, your own laptop, just a notepad pen, write what you see, go to a cyber cafe and upload it. Just um, don't, don't wait for everything to be perfect or it never will. Use whatever tool you have around you. Some of the challenges that media have, like because of the clampdown, there isn't that clampdown on the internet. And that's a very powerful thing. So I would say uh, to blog and um, if they have a digital camera, to take pictures and upload it, share, share, share. For, for new activists, I think one of the important things to, to understand is that, um, especially young activists, you're already, doing, you're already playing with the tools of the trade. Um, you're already on Facebook or MySpace. You already know what a blog is. Um, you might have, you probably have an iPod or some kind of MP3 there. You listen to podcasts. Um, these are all the tools that you'll use in activism. So, Continue to use those tools and train yourself on them so when the time comes that you need to use it for a specific reason, then you'll be ready. Get a blog. It's free. Register. It's not, it doesn't require a lot of technical expertise. And another thing I found useful is um, become part of a community, an online, an online community. It can be a, a blogging community based on geographic location, based on... Uh, a cause or an issue you're involved in, 
because um, social networking, digital activism, it's all about um, building connection, building links. Knowing how to act is important. Knowing when to act is important. Um, you can't act unless you know and you have a network of people that will support you and believe in you and have some credibility within that organization. And you don't need NGOs or advocates or uh, government to do that. You can do that by yourself.